Hi, how are you doing? Today, we are going to do a topographic survey with Applitop's TCP GPS application. First, we download the work area boundary from the cloud with TCP GPS application. Then, we survey all points needed to describe our terrain's reality as to topographically survey it with GNSS. For this, we will take asphalt lines, specific elements such as drains, sewage wells, manholes, streetlights, or linear entities such as curbs, sidewalks, roads, etc. All this will be recorded in our application with a coding system. Using these codes, we will represent each of the elements on our map, and they will be displayed at the same time as we are collecting them. It is also quite interesting to use the tools that TCP GPS provides, such as take pictures or voice notes, to make a description of the elements that we are going to record and associate it with the measured point. Once the equipment and the project have been configured, the application starts in survey mode. The status line of the application is always visible. To easily verify the current point number and code, type of solution, in this case it is fit, the time of the correction, precision and number of satellite, and finally the pole height, in this case 2 meters. If we click on these values, we can edit or access them to expand the information. We start to collect points, in this case a curb of the sidewalk. We search the database for curb code, we type K. It filters the codes automatically, and we easily select the desired code. There are several curb codes to be able to take several curb lines at the same time. As it is a linear entity, the start of the line option is activated and adds the suffix S to start. We select it, and it remains active as the current code. Once measured, the continuation code of the curb line will remain active without the start suffix, and we keep talking curb stone. Then, we collect a point with multi-code. Parking lines start and drain at the same time. When adding a code, use the comma separator. We select and measure. Now, we are going to add a new code. Let's go to the code, new bin. Punctual code, draw on the bin layer. Description, urban furniture. We select a color and a type of marker. We also select it and measure the point. Now we are going to associate a photo with the measured point. We take picture, and it is linked to the point. We can also edit the point and link another image, voice note, etc. We keep doing with the work and surveying the rest of the elements. Now we are going to verify the width of the road from two measured points. We select the initial and final points. The application shows a summary of the 2D and 3D distances, elevation difference, slope, and azimuth. This is also useful to measure areas in the field. We also have utilities to take inaccessible or remote points that cannot be measured directly by intersecting lines, lines and arcs, azimuth and distance, etc. During the work, we can check the different layers corresponding to each code created. From here, we can manage the representation of the points and the visibility of their attributes, code, elevation, point number, text size, color, symbol, etc. Now we are going to activate the background maps to check the data. Load the street map. We change to the satellite image or ortho image. We see how the lines coincide. We deactivate center view in the current position to be able to move along the map. We do several zooms to focus the view on the desired details. Finally, we do an extension zoom to show all the data on the displayed window. It is important to set in configuration the tolerances to record the points so that the application warns us if we are out of tolerance before recording the point. The most important settings are horizontal and vertical precision, but we can also configure the type of solution, PDOP, etc. In this section, we can also edit the observation time for each point, the separator, and the path of current code database. We return to the survey mode. We can also list the points to verify their coordinates, codes, associated details, etc. We can also verify the raw data to check the Decision for each stored point, geographical coordinate, pole height, etc. Even if the point has been staked out, check the residuals. We export the measured point. We select the format. The best known are KML, shape, MDT, as well as the structure XYZ. We export, and the file is saved in the same directory as the project, where we can use it by the tablet as usually. 
or by uploading it to the cloud, where we can synchronize the full project with the user account that we have for its most efficient use. I hope you like the way of working with TCP GPS.